Good morning, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ryan Stoa. I'm here with the uh, Global Water for Sustainability Program uh, based in Miami, Florida at uh, Florida International University. I'm here presenting the uh, Integrated Natural Resources Management and Watersheds of Georgia Program, uh, funded by the United States Agency for International Development. This is a four-year, $6 billion program uh, aiming to improve people's lives and promote green growth uh, by managing natural resources more sustainably. We have wonderful partners with CARE, Winrock, UNESCO IHE, the Caucasus Environmental NGO Network, uh, in order to promote green growth outcomes that include watershed protection, improvements in water quality, reduced vulnerability to climate change, and improved energy efficiency. Just a bit of background, in case you're not familiar, Georgia is a relatively small country in size, but with a fascinating position uh, politically and geographically. It borders the Black Sea to the west, Turkey and Armenia to the south, Azerbaijan to the east, uh, and to the north, the Russian Federation. I believe this map illustrates the great geographic diversity with the environmental and natural resource uh, uh, implications that go along with it. The mountains separate the country east to west and as well from its neighbors north and south. Consequently, ecosystems include lowland marsh forests, swamps, temperate rainforests, glaciers, semi-arid plains, and deciduous forests. Uh, it goes without saying that managing natural resources for a country you know, of this size and such a complex array of biodiversity is difficult. Uh, a picture says a thousand words, and here we have 4,000. Uh, I think that this, this demonstrates really very clearly the, the diversity that George is dealing with. In the upper left, we have arid, high altitude, uh, hay fields, and in the upper right, lush forests and rural mountain areas with a village on, on a steep slope. Uh, lower right, snow-covered peaks of the Caucasus Range bordering Russia. And in the lower left, vineyards of the Alazani River Valley. Um, there's actually significant evidence to show that uh, uh, wine was first produced in this region. So if you're enjoying a nice bottle tonight, raise a glass to the people of Georgia. Uh, the take home message here is that uh, you know, this is a small country uh, and, and there's a great diversity of natural resources, all that, that require a lot of, of capacity in order to manage sustainably. From a technical standpoint, um, we're impre implementing preliminary natural resource assessments that, are, that have yielded the Alazani Iori watershed in the southeast of the country and the Rioni watershed in the central and west as optimal watersheds for pilot programs. Uh, we're conducting participatory community assessments to identify communities with high potential for integrated natural resource management and reform. Um, and of course, the process uh, in this way um, has necessarily been uh, highly participa participatory and consultative uh, because the program operates under the fundamental belief that the Georgian people are key to protection of the watershed and promoting green growth and the sustainable management of natural resources. Um, we've applied this principle across the board to projects and activities including preliminary assessments, community selections, resource management plans, a small grants program, youth engagement, technical assistance to the government of Georgia, data management, income generating activities and a multi-stakeholder learning alliance to translate these experiences into new activities. And the response has been enthusiastic. Uh, many communities are interested in applying integrated natural resource management plans as well as localized and community specific small grant programs. Youth engagement has been particularly encouraging. Uh, many schools have created eco clubs and are being trained in environmental management raising awareness and even carrying out resource-related projects supported by the program. In the upper left, we have a, we have a community resource planning effort. Uh, and in the lower right, we have uh, United States Ambassador to Georgia, John Bass, uh, with one of our eco clubs, highlighting the importance that we place on youth engagement in the program. Ultimately, the uh, program, there we go aims to ensure sustainability of uh, the social mobil mobilization we fostered in environmental management by scaling up project activities to the national level, promoting national policies and legislation that reflect green growth principles, and continued capacity building at the community and national level. 
The program enjoys support from key high-level government officials in addition to the communities, so we're optimistic that green growth can be achieved and natural resources more sustainably managed. Thank you very much. Again, Global Water for Sustainability Program, feel free to contact me after the session. Merci. Thank you very much, Ryan. And we'll get a chance to ask, to ask questions to our case study presenters during the question and answer session towards the end of the, uh, the high-level panel today.